Well, right now, Maine State Police are searching for a man wanted in questioning in a Parkman woman's death. Investigators want to talk to this man, Robert Burton, about the death of his ex girlfriend. Police believe he is driving this truck. They say that the victim, Stephanie Ginn Gibo, was found dead by her children this morning. Her death marks the second homicide in Parkman in less than a month. WMTW News 8's David Charnes has our top story. State police say they found the body of 37 year old Stephanie Gibo inside this house in Parkman this morning. Her car still there. This, the latest homicide in Parkman in weeks. Police say Jibo's body was discovered by her two children this morning at their home on Coolis Road. It's the second homicide in Parkman, a town of 800 since the middle of May. Well, wow, small town, you know, stuff like that happens. It's it shocks you. You know, you don't know what to think. You know, it's it's small. Tight knit community. And That's Robert Burton, a person of interest in Jibo's case, talking with WMGW News 8's media partner, WABI TV, about a murder in Parkman in May. In that case, Zachary Grant of Abbott has been charged with murdering 61 year old David Grant, his father, in his front lawn. Now, police say they want to talk to Burton about Jibo's death. Troy Gardner with Maine State Police says Jibo and Burton had lived together until recently. Obviously, he's the last one to have any type of a serious relationship with her, and, and because of that, typically we like to talk to people who have had contact with the victims. It's crazy. I mean, seeing everybody, you know, go hay haywire all the time is getting ridiculous. Neighbors say one homicide in this quaint community is one too many. Everybody around here, it is a tight knit community. You know, everybody knows everybody. Something Burton echoed in his interview last month. It bothers a lot of people when stuff like that happens. Yeah. It's not good. I spoke with an organization for victims of domestic violence. They say these cases are unfortunately on the rise, and they say anyone who needs help should contact several organizations out there in Maine. You can find that information right on our website at WMTW.com. In Parkman, I'm David Charnes, WMTW News 8.